everyone and welcome to our live chat. Thank you for joining today. Um, in line with the European Year of Youth, we are here today to talk about opportunities and services that could be of interest for you. My name is Kevin Sigma and I am joined here today by Anna Margarita from Eures and Audrey Hi. from Eurodesk. And they will tell you a little bit more about the opportunities and support that Eures and Eurodesk have to offer for young people. Uh, again, like I said, um, we are happy to take any questions for you as we go. So feel free to type them in the comments below. We'll be answering them either at the end of this live session or if we don't have time, we'll get back to you, of course, afterwards as well. Let us know that you're watching live. Always happy to see some hearts popping up in the side. So let us know also where you're from. First, we will start with a few questions to our guests. So welcome, Anna Margarita, for you first. Um, as a Euros advisor, can you tell me, uh, Anna Margarita, how does Euros support young people when they are trying to access the labor market? Well, uh, to start with, we have the Euros portal where you can find nearly 4 million jobs uh, on a daily basis, um, which you can easily search and, and apply. Of course, based on uh, your profile, on your expectations, what you expect from a job. Uh, so you have plenty of options there. Besides, we have a network of URIS advisors, around 1,000 URIS advisors spread all over Europe, which can support you. They are ready to assist you and advise you on your job search. And you have a database of practical information on, on job search, living, working, uh, moving to another country uh, in 31 different countries. So. We really have plenty of information. We also have an events platform. You have ev events every week on europeanjobdays.eu. And we still have a package of financial mobility schemes, which can help you not only in your job search, but then when you relocate and eventually, for instance, if you need some assistance in learning a, a, a different language or, for instance, within your professional recognition, if the, your job uh, will require such a, a recognition, we have that option as well. Interesting. And TMS, of course, targeted mobility schemes is a recurring theme on all the platforms, your jobs as well, your portal also. And, and what do you think like jobs wise? What, what is currently in high demand? What are we looking for in Europe? Well, with 4 million jobs available, I think it's almost difficult to tell you precisely. Everything. But um, yeah. but I would say that uh, within healthcare for sure, uh, you will need quite a lot. So mostly nurses, medical doctors, but also in other areas. Then within engineering and tech, ICT, whatever you may think of, uh, you will find in there. Uh, also within logistics and transport, I saw there were some drivers around there, freight handlers, truck drivers, bus drivers as well. Within hospitality and catering, we have quite a lot of opportunities within food and beverage, chefs in particular, so namely seasonal opportunities as well. Uh, namely in the most touristic countries as Portugal, for instance, where I come from. Uh, <laughs> and also profiles requiring your language skills, particularly within customer service, content reviewing, for instance. If you need to, on social media, search engine optimization and so on, you find plenty yeah. of options there. Um, last question for you, Anna Margarita. When I'm interested in, in getting more information or getting into contact with you as a Euros advisor or any advisor in, in Europe, how, how can I reach you? Well, we're almost everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, but to start with, you can start by searching the Euros Advisors contacts on the Euros portal. Um, you can search by country, by region, the nearest one to you, or you can also look for the, the, the Euros Advisor in the countries or in the regions where you want to go to. Uh, so mm -hmm. you can do that search. But we also have a strong presence on social media where we are now. So almost all countries have a page on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Many Euros advisors are on LinkedIn as well. You can reach us there. And besides, yeah. many countries also have dedicated mailbox, online services, including our chat on Fridays, where 17 countries are present every, every Friday, every week. Uh, right. You can find them on, on the Euros portal. But also some countries uh, have online personalized advice, for instance, they can set up a, a meeting with you via Teams or Zoom if you need a, a further in-depth, a more in-depth uh, advice uh, with your mobility plans. So, yeah, we are almost everywhere. Thank you so much, Anna Margarita. These were my questions for you. Um, we'll you. go over to Audrey from Eurodesk. Thank you for joining us here uh, in this live session, Audrey. And can you tell me something, or can you tell us in the view, something about Eurodesk? Yeah, sure. So I'm glad to be with you. Uh, so, as you said, I represent Eurodesk and we are a specialized network 
targeting young people. And our goal is to bring all the different opportunities that are out there uh, to them. So this can be um, programs like Erasmus+, Plus, but also the programs that um, were mentioned, like uh, that Europe is carrying out, and also the programs to volunteer abroad. So anything that will bring young people abroad to learn volunteer for work, and also to make their voices heard with processes like the youth dialogue, where young people can have a say in uh, European development. Okay, so there's a lot of information that you can support there as well. But why do you think that the access to this information is so important for young people? Yeah, I mean, we see that uh, for many young people like Europe and also all those programs, they seem very far away. And many young people are not aware that they exist and also that those programs are for them and they don't take the step uh, to apply and to take uh, a role. And this is... a uh, this is something we see very clearly in our uh, youth uh, information survey that we publish every second year, where we see that especially young people in rural areas or those who are not exposed by um, to mobility in their uh, environments, in their families, um, or those from disadvantaged backgrounds, they have less chance to access um, this information. So we see our role in bridging this gap and making a connection, let's say, between the young people and also the all the benefits they can get from their uh, up, um, belonging, let's say, to the European uh, project. Thank you, Audrey, so much for the for the information. I'm pretty sure people that are interested will visit, of course, the social media feeds that you have on offer in the website. Um, Thank you both. Uh, we had some questions, perhaps comments that we've uh, that we've uh, uh, gathered. Uh, Gabriella, can you can you answer some questions from the from the viewers? Sure. Good pointer asking about internship opportunities and apprenticeship opportunities. So if you can uh, go over that for recent high school graduates, and where can they right. find them? We have at URIS portal a few opportunities to start with. It's not the main focus of URIS, but we do have, uh, we had around 10,000, a little bit more than 10,000 today, for instance, within apprenticeships and uh, internships not all of them for high school uh, graduates, uh, let's say. Usually they are for uh, someone already with a degree, but it doesn't mean you won't find quite a few. And then, of course, uh, your advisors can also help you find some other opportunities. And besides, within the mobility schemes that we have within EURES, we can support you. We have uh, some financial support to aid you in the, in the first three. To, uh, you will have to have a, a traineeship of at least three months uh, to be to be eligible to for this support, but uh, you have opportunities there, and uh, yeah. you will have a, an allowance uh, which uh, helps you through the time and some further supports with relocation and so on. Okay. I, th I think it would be a good um, a subject to delve into maybe in a next live session to talk about the mobility schemes because they are of interest of a lot of people, I suppose, here. All right, thank you, Anna Magrida. Um, Audrey, any any remarks from you on that topic? Yeah, I mean, I would add for young people to check a bit the your desk opportunity finder because there we also have a list of possible internships. We don't have as much because in our database what we have is more all the internships you can do in EU institutions or EU agencies because we feel so those possibilities are super enriching for, for young people and very variable. So we, or Erasmus. Yeah, we yeah, promote yeah. those. And then we have all the ones that are related to Erasmus and uh, scholarships because uh, Erasmus, for example, is not only for, for your studies, it's also for doing internships. So we also promote um, yeah, those different types of opportunities in the learning section of our Erasmus program database. And the final resource, I would say, is to check the European Youth Portal, because there we have uh, sections on going abroad for different uh, purposes, like volunteering, working and internships. And there you will also find more resources and tips on how to apply, how to make it easy, how to use the Europass. So there we also put a lot of resources for young people who have this uh, uh, will to go abroad. Um, yeah. All right. So plenty of ways to get into touch and to find opportunities out there for apprenticeships as well. Thank you so much for your answer, Audrey. Well, I'm just looking at the time. I think we're running out of uh, of it uh, at the moment. So I would like to thank you all for joining today. Thank you both for answering these questions.